All right, guys, now we're going to be doing uh, fall clearance for an SRL. What we have here is a 3500293. Um, that's a nano lock leading edge. Uh, great for any leading edge um, application. Steel cable as to not fray when you hit that uh, leading edge or sharp edge. All right, so SRLs are a little different. Each SRL is dependent on the instruction booklet that comes, and there should be a chart in every single instruction booklet. We need to go off that chart, and um, it's very well explained in the instruction booklet, but we're just gonna use this one for, for an example today. So what we're doing here, we have A as a setback distance. So that is from your anchor to the edge of the roof. That's gonna be A. For B, we're gonna use our horizontal distance. That's how far off the anchor point the worker is going to be working on a lateral plane. Um, that's going to give you right there your fall clearance. So what we're going to do now, we go into the chart. Um, we're going to look into the instruction booklet. We're going to measure our setback distance on the roof. We have three feet here. Our worker can only go about three feet to the side. So then we're going to go, hold to, oh, I forgot, we have a 240 pound worker. There's two charts in the instructions. Uh, one's going to be for up to 220 pounds and the other one's going to be 220 to that 330. Um, so we're going to go to the chart now. We're going to go from A, find our three feet. We are going to go to B, find the three feet and go down to the middle in the chart. That's going to tell you right there, we need 16.7 feet of fall clearance to make this work so that you don't hit the ground. Like I said, um, the lanyard is very easy, very quick to do with some simple math. For an SRL, you really wanted to get into that product manual, get the chart and get the correct equation. Hoping you all stay safe and we get the correct clearances here. Thank you again, Grant Bailey from CW Hayden. Um, have a good one.